Howdy folks, welcome to Katie Phillips Scrapbook Designs. I'm Katie and today we're going to be working on page number one in the This Is Our Happy Place mini album. For this album, I'm using the Harvest Meadow uh, Oh, sorry, I thought that was like a two line title. Harvest Meadow Collection from Recollections. For this page, we're gonna need the base page, which is seven by six. We're gonna score the seven inch side at six and a half and six and a quarter. Two accordion pieces, and they are four and a quarter by eight. We're gonna score the eight inch side at three and, a, uh, three and three quarters, seven and a half. Yep, three and three quarters and seven and a half. We've got a pocket. It's five and a quarter by four and a quarter. We're gonna score the five and a quarter inch side at four and three quarters and four and a quarter. We're gonna score the four and a quarter inch side at three and three quarters. We've got an insert. It is four by four and a half. And we've got a little extra piece that we're gonna use for the pocket backing on this page that is four by three and a quarter. So let's get started with scoring everything. going to set the pocket and the accordion and the inserts aside for a second and we're going to go ahead and mat the base page. So the first mat for the base page is six and one eighth by five and seven eighths and the second mat is six by five and three quarters. And I'm just going to use some glue to glue this down. Make sure that we've got the spine tab on the left since this is page number one. And right, let's get started on the pocket. I'm going to add double sided tape. around the edges. I'm not going to come all the way up to the top on the two sides because the backing for the pocket doesn't come all the way up to the top. It doesn't need to, it just needs to come up far enough to make sure that our inserts will slide in and out with ease. And now I'm going to clip the corners here. And I'm going to lay the backing down right here. It's kind of centered in between these two sides and right up against the bottom. Actually, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Okay. 
go. If I was doing this over again, I probably would not have come up so high on the sides. to the center of the base page. Assemble the accordion. And it's going to be a a Z fold style accordion. little glue to the tab here. I'm going to glue this down to the free edge of the other accordion piece. And now I'm going to add glue to the other tab. Before I do that, before I lay that down, I want to grab, there it is, and in this case I'm going to go four times the length, or four times the width, just add some double sided tape here in the center to hold it in place. And it just occurred to me that I need to trim a little bit off the edge here. So let me go trim this down to three and a quarter inches tall and I'll be right back. Okay, I've trimmed it down to three and three quarters inches tall. So I will make note on the cut list what the correct dimensions are for the accordion here. Make sure I pull that ribbon taut. And come right up to the edge there and I'm trying to keep it as Obviously my measurements were off here. Okay, I might be able to use that later in the album, so I set that aside. The correct measurements that will be on the cut list are um, nine inches by three and three quarters, and I'm gonna score the nine inch side at four and a quarter and eight and a half. And I'm only gonna do one because as I was looking at it, that was a little bit thick for what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna add glue to the 
the tab. Ooh, let's see if I can get this fold straightened up just a little bit. Now I'm going to pull that ribbon taut. End up right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm still a quarter of an inch too tall. Let me trim it down. All right, so the measurements I gave were correct. I just didn't cut it right. Now that looks like what I had in my head. So the next step is going to be to add the mat to the bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more double sided tape just to hold The ribbon down because I don't want the ribbon pulling the mat up as I'm opening and closing it because you know as you're tying the ribbon closed you're going to be tugging on this and I don't want it pulling the mat up. Hold off on that for a second. So the mat for this page um, got two pieces cut to four and one eighth by three and five eighths and two pieces cut to four by three and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this piece down. This is just like a little journaling spot, but you could also use it as a photo frame. I'm going to glue this down to the solid cardstock. Here from the cover, it looks like we just have a little accordion. The truth is, we have a pocket behind the accordion. Oops. You know, I never have a problem tying a bow unless the camera is filming. I cut these little tags out from the collection and I don't have a whole bunch that can punch that I can punch much bigger and much smaller but I cannot punch that size so go ahead and we're going to slide 
so we'll tag back in here and got an insert is four by four and a half and before i add the insert i want to do a border punch on it i've actually had this border punch since christmas and i just haven't used it will fit. It fits really well. That's it. <clears throat> Sorry. That's it for page number one. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more mini album related content. I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. If you have a question, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I will link to all the materials that I can find online in the description box. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.